guys, this is Kat from Vegan Diver Cat, and today I am doing an instructor tips video. So many of you guys have asked me on tips on how to equalize when you're scuba diving or free diving. So here are my top tips for equalizing your ears. Now to get started, uh, equalizing your ears as you descend underwater is vital to make sure you avoid pain or potential injuries to your ears. As you descend, the surrounding area increases in pressure as you're going underwater, and um, that means you're getting pressure on the inside of your ears. To avoid any pain from that, you're going to have to equalize the inner air spaces to match the pressure of the outside. So as you descend, the pressure on the outside is increasing, so you need to add more pressure from the inside to equalize your eardrum. To do this, the simplest way to do is pinch your nose and gently exhale, pushing that eardrum out. You can practice it right now. Usually you'll feel a little pop or a kind of strange feeling in your ears, and that shows you that you're equalized. A good thing to do is to do that before you go diving just to make sure all your inner passageways are clear. If you want to think about it this way, whenever you go up in a plane, you are going to feel some changes in pressure in your ears. However, the changes of pressure from here, land, where it's one atmosphere of pressure, all the way to space where it's zero atmospheres of pressure, is the same change as here on land from one atmosphere of pressure to two atmospheres of pressure at 10 meters depth. So every 10 meters you go underwater, it is the same change as going from land all the way to space. So as you go down, you're gonna need to do a lot more equalizing than on a plane. Now, if this doesn't work, here are a couple of other tips you can try. This video is sponsored by Leaf Shave, which is an amazing plastic-free shaving option which allows you to stay hair-free while protecting the planet. So at a low cost of $79, you have razors and blades to last you over two years. Um, I have got mine over a year and a half ago and I'm still not even halfway through my blades. So a little bit of an upfront investment, but you're helping yourself and the planet with a clean shave with no plastic consequences. The next thing you can try is wiggling your jaw. When you wiggle your jaw, this can help create movement within your head and kind of help equalize. The next tip you can do is yawn. Now, if you're using a regulator or a snorkel, you want to make sure you're still biting down with your teeth, but kind of ooh, do a fake yawn type of situation. Again, this can clear your eustachian tubes. Next thing you can try is gently stretching your neck from side to side. If you're wearing a hood, letting some water enter your hood can help as well. Now, if none of these things work, you can try a combination. So blow, wiggle, yawn, stretch, and do so. Now, to make sure you're equalizing properly, you wanna equalize before you feel any discomfort or pain. So you wanna start off at the surface, and then just keep equalizing your whole way down. The biggest pressure change is gonna occur in that first 10 meters. So you're gonna to have to do a lot more equalizing than you might have to at deeper depths. Now, in the first 10 meters, I tell my students, make sure to stay upright, hold on to a line with one of your hands, and with your other hand, you're deflating your BCD and equalizing every meter or so that you descend. If you are free diving, you're gonna be diving down. Again, keep one of your hands directly on your nose and just dive down, equalizing every couple of seconds. You can't hurt yourself by over-equalizing. However, you can definitely hurt your ears by not equalizing. If you descend and you feel discomfort in your ears, simply stop, let your buddy know that something's wrong, Go up a little bit and try again. Now, do not feel pressure if you cannot equalize. On my advanced course, it took me minutes and minutes to equalize. The instructor, act the instructor actually had to take me down before anyone else in the group. So do not feel bad, be patient. Our ears are extremely sensitive and you do not want to damage them. 
Now, what may be reasons to stop you from equalizing your ears? The most common one is having a cold. Now, if you've had a cold, you might have phlegm all up in your business, so you will not be able to equalize. For this reason, most instructors will tell you do not dive with a cold. Some people will say, oh, I'll just take decongestants. That is extremely dangerous as you may decongest enough to equalize on your way down. However, it may get blocked up once you're at depth and then coming back up, the same issue can happen. So as you go up, the surrounding um, atmospheric pressure will decrease and the pressure in your head is gonna be bigger. So then again, you will need to equalize your air spaces. And this may not be possible if you get congested underwater. For this reason, do not take decongestant medication before you go diving. So I hope these tips helped you on how to try equalizing your ears. Remember to be patient with them and uh, to go up and down nice and slowly.